Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys some Adopt Me glitches. I'm so excited for this video, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so the first one has to do with a levit like how to basically levitate. I know it sounds crazy, but here it goes. So for this, I'm just gonna get out my neon golden unicorn because I need to fly right here. But as you can see, I've already got it set up. You need one um, bouncy castle and then directly, make sure to directly above on the ceiling, another bouncy castle and maybe put a wedge here so it bumps you down. And if you have done this correctly, what you should end up with if you go onto the front of the bouncy castle, it should look like this. And uh, yeah. So that one's pretty cool, and you can prep basically prank your friends with it. Prank your friends with it. It's pretty cool. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, for the next one, you're going to need two really important things. You're going to need to be on a PC or a laptop. You're basically, going to need uh, the backspace button. So if you have a backspace button, maybe you're playing on phone, but you have a keyboard, that's fine. Just need a backspace button, okay? And the second thing is get a glider. You do need a glider. Okay, once you have the glider, it's so, so simple. All you have to do is press backspace and you will be able to fly until your heart's content. And this, and no other players can actually see the um, glider as well. So it's basically, you're basically flying and it is so, so cool. Okay, so for this next one, there's actually two relating to this. But yeah, let's do this first one. So basically, all you're going to need is a balloon, any type of balloon. Go into dress up, okay? I can go to this little costume thing right here. Click the magma fiend and click the balloon. Now I click dress up again and just turn back into the costume. And now I jump. And to your surprise, well, would you look at that? You are flying. You are actually flying. There is the actual Adopt Me Owl right there. That is so funny. You can basically just see everything from up here. And if you try to drop down, if you're wondering, this is what happens. It doesn't actually look like you're falling. But if you zoom in first person, you can actually see that you're falling. And... Oh! Oh! What just happens? That was not meant to happen. Oh! Uh, what just happens? I was just like, we. <laughs> I just fell through the map. That was so, so weird. Anyway, guys. Okay, guys. So, for this next glitch that relates to that one, you actually need a dragon balloon. It is actually an old balloon. So, if you do not have this, you will not be able to do this glitch. So, all you need to do is go back to dress up, change the magma friend fiend, and you can actually go and see that the balloon has changed its shape. But that's not all. If you actually change back, you ready? Three two one the balloon will actually it'll sometimes just stay the same but if you're lucky enough it will sometimes change the shape to that you can get you guys can see this this glitch is very very weird like look at the freaking balloon it's oh my god it's not supposed to be that tall but oh my god this balloon it goes through the ground oh my lord okay <laughs> let's move on to the next glitch this one's a little bit too weird all right, for this next glitch, you're gonna actually be able, no joke, to see through walls. All right, now this is extremely, extremely easy. All you need is a pet. You cannot have it's. It can't be an egg, but all you need is an is a pet, and that's basically it. So get out your pet. It doesn't have to be neon. I'm just gonna get out my neon golden unicorn because it's my latest addition to the team. I also got a little Santa hat there. So um, anyway, I know it's not really Christmas yet, but yeah. Anyway, let's do this. First thing that we want to do is turn into a baby. Okay, if you want to be a parent doing this glitch, then don't turn into a baby and just do the exact same steps. But if you do want to be a parent, which I assume most of you do want to be, then just be a baby. So next, you just want to take out your pet, okay, and then dress up, switch to your parent and show my pet at the exact same time. Now it should look a little bit like this. If you go behind something, yes, your camera will be locked. If you go behind something, you can see right through it. But there's a way around this. All you have to do, reset. And once you reset, you might be like, oh, well, this is just back to normal. Why did we do that?
because the camera is back to normal but the view is not back to normal so you will be able to see through each and every wall and it is extremely funny see if you're playing hide and seek with your friend if you're playing hide and seek with your friend you're basically gonna like win every single time it is so so funny let's move on to the next glitch all right guys yeah you do need to actually leave for this glitch to stop working i personally love it so i'm not gonna get it to stop working but what you want to do is you want to head over to where the water is and you're actually going to want a hoverboard now the hoverboard is actually like okay hoverboard it's old now but that is okay so what we want to do is we're going to get a hoverboard and we're going to drive right in to the water it doesn't matter if it's a hot spring just needs to be water all right guys after you drive into the water all you need to do is get a floaty you can purchase it at the shop right on over there um so let's get the lazy float and just do that and uh yeah you'll be flying it's a bit like the blue one but it's crazy it is so crazy dude you can even move like this and then sit on the float like if you move to the right angle you can sit on the float and then it just sends you flying that is so funny whoa what is this oh i'm seeing through the map okay yeah <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the next one. For this one, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy as well. Also, if you just show my avatar, um, the glitch will actually be fixed there. So that's another way around it as well as leaving. But anyways, what you wanna do, okay. Be a baby. If you wanna be a parent being a baby, if you wanna be a parent do, if doing this, be a baby. If you don't, then don't be a baby. But what you wanna do, swim in. To the water just a little bit and click switch to part and if you don't look correctly it doesn't seem like i have actually done it correctly so what you want to do is you just want to switch to parent and switch to bb a lot of times and with some luck you'll be able to pretty much walk on water so let me just get to this level all right does is that good yeah i think that might be good okay And just like that, guys, we are now walking inside of the water, and it is super easy to get around now. Like, look at this. It is just so fun. If you're playing hide and seek, this is definitely one to do. All right, guys, the next glitch involves the horseman, which is just right on time good. Guys, I didn't, oh my god, I didn't even <laughs> expect that to happen. Wow. Anyways, you want to do the headless horseman i know it seems weird that you're going to do the headless horseman trust me i've got fourteen thousand candy this glitch is the best so just wait for the timer to go to zero okay so once it hits zero what you're going to want to do is actually jump out of your bike and basically just go touch the headless horseman you get an automatic score of four thousand which is with the candy boost 240 candy so now you get an extra 240 candy and uh yeah and also this glitch is very very helpful because see these um halloween pony cycles they're so like i don't know why but they're so high in demand i like traded mine for a bunch of old toys and then for a santa hat from uh christmas 2019 so definitely do this glitch so you can get a lot of candy and be able to buy a lot of these all right guys so for this next glitch it involves a friend okay so i just got my alt account on my phone right here so i'm gonna go ahead and teleport and what you need to do it's just so funny to trick people into thinking that basically somebody else's pet is yours all right okay so all you need to do is invite someone to your family invite your mate to your family so let's do that real quickly have them accept okay so now what you want to do don't um don't don't judge don't judge the name okay just don't judge the name but anyways so let's just say for example you know their dream pet might be a i don't know neon koi for example you want to let them hold your pet so now once you've let them hold your pet pretty much get them to go into any building like literally any building at all it doesn't matter what building it is any building i'm just going to get them to go into school because you know the closest one here and pretty much get them to drop the pet get them to leave the family and obviously you should leave the family too and get them to walk out and with your 
amusement. They, their pet will be following, you know, your pet will actually be following them, like, it won't even be in a family. And obviously, if you go close to your owner, it'll still not work, and you can just flex, but obviously, if you actually click it, it'll say, you must be an Isle of Pikachu Bees, or whoever you're letting borrow your pet's um, family all you have to do in order to pick it up and to obviously have it again obviously just click it pick up ride or fly so yeah let's move on to the next glitch alrighty guys so this next glitch involves you must have a hyper speed honey candy or candy corn in your inventory and you must have an alter count or a friend I've already featured this glitch on my channel, but it didn't get that much of you, so I'm going to do it now. All you got to do, eat it, but while you're eating it is give item from backpack and give the honey candy. And then, basically, get the honey candy. Now, don't actually eat all of it. All you have to do, eat it, and then give item from hand. Boom. And shoot, appear in 3, 2, 1. There we go. They successfully received. And now, we're just going to do this a couple more times and see what, you know, our speed turns out like. Okay, guys, and let's check out our speed right now. This is... Oh, my God, my alter count's pretty fast, too. But this is our speed now. Run. So, yeah, it's pretty fast. So guys, for the last and final witch, all you gotta do is go over to the portal and, you know, go to the side here, get through right there, get a fly or ride pat, fly actually, get a fly pat or a propeller, go right on down and up in here and now you can pretty much, you know, be under the map. It is pretty cool, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Peace.